Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here, and we are going into the last war of season 31. This is this is the finale. We're up against NSX, no Noxious Smoke, their solid alliance. Um, they're one spot ahead of us when we were coming into this war. We were number five platinum one, they're number four platinum one. If we win this, we have a shot at getting into master. So it is all out. Everything goes throwing out the boost. No, there's no room for errors, no mistakes. And yeah, so for the bands that we got were, of course, Torch, Ghost, and then we got Apocalypse Band. So let's go into my path. And oh man, this is this is this is some good stuff here. So boost it up. This is Node Four Path One. It has the Vigorous Assault and arc overload so cosmic ghost riders have pretty interesting placement here it's not too difficult but the one thing you do have to keep in mind is and you'll notice is that the more judgments he has placed the longer the um the regen and all his buffs will last so the regen will last longer so so first up um he gets an armor up buff from the arc overload and we kind of just wait that out and then we're just going to do short combos to try to build up as many rock stacks as we can. Um, we put on an indestructible boost for safety. We had plenty of them available. And I have green boost on, the science boost on. So that way if I do get um, a nice special, um, we can get some power back. And we're kind of just dance out. Now you can see that regen is significantly longer. I had to wait that out. I probably should have countered him on that first heavy. But we're just trying to play it nice and safe. Um, you know, one thing that I've always said is even if it, the fight takes a little bit longer, as long as you get the full attack bonus, that is really all that matters. And look at that. Look at all that power back. Got a ton of power back on that special too. I thought about going for it again. But I didn't have any rock stacks, so I wasn't going to get the, the guaranteed stun. Um, but here we wait out the regen, and we're just smashing away. And I should have just I should have just went for it. Um, I was trying to get one more um, one more parry for 20 rock stacks, so that I would come out uh, fully like unblockable unstoppable the whole bit but uh he just wasn't playing into it that's all right and then he dexed me uh, on that on that special one counter so he ended up um, completing the whole cycle luckily this guy's only he's not awakened so um i only got a power drain and not the the damnation uh degen on but we we finish up unblockable unstoppable we do get tagged there but we finish up and knock him out and get the solo so nothing too fancy, but one thing that thing was nice about that is if I were to mess up and get Eden L2, things armor break immune, so he wouldn't be able to do too much crazy damage. But yeah, so we get through that. We're moving up next to another Eye Hulk on Node 13 has Masochism, Indomitable, and seen him three or four times this season um, on this node that I that I have fought personally. And you know we still got the green uh, science special boosts on, and we're going in with uh, my boy Overseer. Overseer, he is so much fun, and we got some good action today with Overseer. He he he, he got two fights, but um, the last fight, it's it's exciting. So, and um, yeah, so here the one nice thing with Overseer is that when they throw a special. They're going to get that special concussion so that can trigger masochism which is kind of nice that kind of just gives you extra easier openings to get land a regular parry um and yeah we did go into cosmic mode we did throw the special with i think it was only three gamma or whatever so that didn't last too long that's okay um and i think we're gonna launch a special three here in a second uh, we just want, want to make sure that we don't get don't get tagged by one of I Hulk specials and get stunned and all that. So we need to make sure that 
you know, when we're parrying, if we're going to trigger masochism, we either just keep holding that, double parry, re-parry, whatever you want to call it, um, and make sure we don't get tagged. So there we throw off special three, sweet special three. We activate uh, cosmic mode again, doing light attack, so medium, quadruple lights to get, you can see that, that uh, energy damage that we're getting. We push him to special two, no big deal. It's it's easy to dex. You hit, there's a little bit more to it than a, a special one. We just get out of range, but it's easy to dex and counter. Um, here's another special two. Not a ton of damage on that one. Didn't get much uh, power back. Didn't. I don't think any of those crit. Um, I Hulk is over 15 gamma, so he is going to have chance to go immortal. Now, I think the last time I fought him, my Human Torch killed him fast enough to where he didn't get to 15 Gamma, and I thought it was Assassins that caused him to not go Immortal, but my uh, Alliance mate, McLeod, he's like, oh, he didn't go Immortal because he didn't have 15, Gamma, uh, 15 of his persistent charges. I was like, oh, I, I really didn't, I didn't notice that, and I didn't realize that that was one of his abilities. So you can kill him fast enough, like and with enough, like, uh, dot, passive damage you can bypass that immortality every time that's all right we just wait that out now here is here is a clutch fight um so man thing masochism static defense um hit me i dare you and um strike counter fury so this this man thing uh i i personally haven't seen one here in a long time with this new node combination um we didn't have a white magneto pre-fight um, available. I was like, that's fine. I'll just use the power down tactic, s s alter my combos from, you know, ending in a light, ending in a medium, and that will help reduce the mystic dispersion that this guy has. And I think, uh, looking back, I think he has about four out of five so it's not max but it's 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 pretty decent you know but with the withers on and alternating that um, you know it helps really mitigate uh, the mystic dispersion so that was my plan it was to just keep alternating my combos make sure I re-parry uh, when masochism is active and ready to consume that parry stun and then just block and just let it go but you can see we're a minute into the fight and we've done 10 percent damage now we have um gotten 19 of the 60 furies um that we can get and you know it's a little bit more difficult to to get them because we're not throwing specials and we have to wait out that full um rock stack timer to be able to convert those but we're, we are converting them um but you can see the the willpower healing from the suppression plus the masochism heal is is quite significant on this um and i think it was it was around this point where i'm like hmm do i need to switch up my strategy um you know, I do run max despair, so the more of those suppressions that I get on, it does mitigate some of the willpower healing. But I'm I'm just constantly triggering those, and we're two minutes in, and we've done 20% damage. And there, I got an indestructible. That is my second time that I've gotten tags from just trying to like um, go in and uh, counter, you know, intercept or whatever, and then boom, mystic dispersion pushes him to special three. I did not have protection up. I still have my last indestructible, but this poison, he poisons, so I can't I can't have, he can't armor break me, but look, 6,123 per tick. So I take a block and I'm like, oh crap. I need to block as quickly as possible once that protection um, is up. So that way, and there I parry him a little bit too early, I take two ticks of, of that and look at his power bar. Look at his power bar. He's almost at three bars. I have the unstoppable buff. If that would have fallen off, I would have gotten special threed. We end up 
surviving past that poison. The poison is like 20 seconds. Let me check on that. Yeah, it's a 15 second poison. And then the, um, the protection is five seconds. So I had to go three rounds and I, you know, obviously I took some damage. You see, we, we do have max furies now. So we are hitting the hardest that thing can hit and with the boost that I have on. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm a little concerned because we have one and a half minutes left and this man thing is at 60%. And so I decided, look, I'm gonna change it up. I did just throw a medium ending combo and then from here on out, we are just doing medium enders to maximize the damage because medium is gonna be more than a light. We're just gonna block everything, counter, block bait, and try not to parry, stay close to where we can just counter, get our ends after that special one. We are being very aggressive. Um, those pustules are falling off. They're giving him Mystic Dispersion. Now he's under 50%. Therefore, every time he throws a special, he's gonna get a regen on top, which, you know, he's only healing for 69 a tick. But man, at this point, every single health point matters. 30 seconds, 33%. It does not look good and I was my heart is just about to explode out my out my chest um, 20 seconds 21 percent I need this guy to not be stingy throw some specials come on please please I cannot time out to this man thing right so we start just smashing away we block bait he goes for the heavy and we go for a full combo into the special three and I'm like nine percent this has got to kill him please right please do not let this dude end with one percent boom rock burrito into the rock wall dead oh my goodness guys I that was so clutch I was I was mentally freaking out in that fight because you know, we were trying to pump up everybody and I didn't want to give an early death like that and whew, we clutched it. It That was like, that was crazy. And that was a full freaking five minute fight. Hi. Um, yeah, so now we're going up and we're boosting. This is the end of, this is the end of my assignment. So we're going up left side. This is EMP mod, burden of might, um, aspect of evolution. And we're going up against this apocalypse. I, I've done this once this season with Nebula. Nebula is a great option. So I've done this fight with Doom before. Doom works fine, um, but if you dex, you know, accidentally dex and you lose your power, it can really, really jack you up. Nebula, you can just play around with the dexes. You can dex all you want, um, and it actually benefits you. You'll, you'll see. So I do have an indestructible boost on for this. Um, and I think I get heavy here just kind of like I did in the first attempt earlier on in the season. But I tried to get as many um, shocks as I could. Didn't get a whole bunch, but there, boom. You can just see, I just got a whole bunch of shock charges because the EMP feeds Nebula's shock charge. She's immune. Yeah, there, there's the heavy. Um, I'm bleed immune anyway, so it wouldn't have done that much damage, but it's all right. So we are at 10 um, bubble shields. We dex out of that so that we don't get hit by the unblockable. We have five, six EMP charges. It's great. Look at my shocks. It goes from zero to 20. Beautiful. I'm just going to block this just to be safe. Um, you know, I've dexed that all season long, but I just, I don't know, I just didn't feel like trying to risk it. And then boom, we throw off um a parry 20 20 shocks and he just melts so you can really take advantage of the emp it makes it a pretty simple fight he did he threw what two specials it's not bad so next up we're going up path three we have the sigil witch now originally i was assigned to take this with thing um but the and and pretty much use the protection to um bypass the degen damage if she gets her six instabilities but i was talking to a buddy of mine and i was like look you've you've used uh nebula on 
on this fight that has the chitinous thorns and the the shock from cutting wires and you know she's not I mean, she can get an armor up but um he's like yeah use use nebula she's easy basically just block bait everything um, power start one boost so you see I, I still had an indestructible boost on but we, we swapped that out um, just power start one get to l2 try to get to um, 20 shock charges we only got to 19 I got corner I didn't feel like I wanted to deal with you know sitting in the corner anymore and one special two lights out beautiful I mean simple easy you know took some chip damage but that was the last fight that I had for nebula now we're gonna move up I'm waiting here for um, my buddies uh, Jay Goody and Cherry um, I need one of them to uh, hit the surfer with the energy so that I can get there and we have enough energy to go through the mini island on the right side um, and Jay Goody he takes out um, his buffet fight moves up and I'm like hey you need to put on the white mags we just had the white mags I, I died to this fight at the beginning of the season almost timed out because I let him throw too many specials he got the armors Silver Surfer's armor is incredibly potent do not underestimate it um, Jay Goody had moved up but then he forgot to put on the white mag so my power start one boost fell off that's right I got plenty of them um, and we're gonna power start one boost we we put back on science uh, special boost and we're gonna do this fight significantly different than what we had done earlier on the season and I've taken surfer plenty of times and I should have done it this way to begin with but we power start one so that we can get to a special two and you can see we got almost a full bar of power back we convert our rock stacks to into furies and we're just gonna do that again um, that I, we, we didn't get to a, a, a special two again but that's all right we got to a special one we converted um, no we didn't we didn't get enough uh, furies or rock stacks to convert but that's all right here we got another uh, special available to throw we throw it we convert some more furies we're at 40 furies and we're just hitting hard we're, we're max boosted um, and surfer he did throw a special one in his armor phase so he now he has two armor so he is you know gonna take a lot less damage but that's okay um, we're just gonna keep smashing at him you know we've we've managed the high ground combo and everything pretty well um, he only got one charge and you know it's minimal minimal damage to deal with we're gonna try to push him um, just keep throwing those special ones. If we push him to special two, that's actually not bad. He will be fully unblockable with all those buffs that he's got, um, but we can just smash him out. I think we kill him right here. So that that took a minute and 40, less than that, versus the first time I died, and I literally died with like 10 seconds or something on the clock. Ugh, so brutal. So we take down the surfer. I was happy with that. Got my revenge. Now we're going over to this right side. So. Um, Sherry, he took out this Guardian with Magneto, and here's my assignment. Ebony Maw, Polka Dot Power, Stunning Reflection, Stunborn Ability. So the game plan here was to, right there, Power Start 1. That was the mistake in our planning. Now, the whole game plan was to get Maw to throw 6 specials, get 6 Gamma, and then throw my special 1. It will stun him, but I get stun immunity with cap screen shield. Um, but you can look at that. Look at where my power is right now. It's at like a half a bar. So there is like a current bug in the game where um, if Ma is focused, he can he basically consumes like 60%, 40%, 50% of the power gain that you can get. That includes the power start ones, and I don't think he's supposed to um, be able to consume that part of that power start one because he's technically not focused yet. But it is what it is, and we and we knew about that, but we just I don't know, it just didn't register. So, like when I went into this fight, 
and I saw that I was like oh crap this is gonna be a long fight and it's it's fairly long but I did practice countering his special ones with the heavy the spacing is pretty good uh, overseer has an incredible reach on his heavy attack and he is just a great great counter for ebony maw he cannot be nullified so it, you know those furies that he puts on you and he's trying to nullify and degen you it ain't happening um, and yeah, we're just gonna try to combo this guy out uh, we're never gonna be able to go into cosmic uh, cosmic mode if we had this fight would have already been over I think with all the damage that I could get from it this guy does have mystic dispersion um, it looks like it's probably uh, three or four out of five it's not max um, and we're just going to try to combo this guy we got to make sure Ooh, that was like a heavy intercept because I didn't get close enough you can you can whiff um, and then go into the heavy or just stand there and go into the heavy uh, we do need to watch out for those falter charges because we do not want to get degened um, so we are going to try to knock him down as frequently as we can with the heavy um, so that he cannot build those up. Boom, we get another heavy. He's got 10, 10 altitude charges. So one hit into the block is going to be 7,500 damage right now. And I think I do take one hit into the block. You know, I did get a couple hits at the beginning, but after I composed myself, yeah, right there, oof, big hit into the block. Like 7,300 damage. I cannot let this guy get to a special two because that special two has a ton of hits and blocking it would would just about kill me. Um, but we get we get the solo. We we we, we composed ourselves. I, I mean I think I about crap my pants when I saw that power start one not work and I was just like ugh. But we beasted it out. Overseer is a awesome counter to Ebony Maw. So Dempsey's like, hey, great job. And I was like, that did not go as planned. And so we talked about it afterwards. And now would I do it again? Maybe I would. Um, I still think Overseer is a great counter for, for Maw there, even if you have to play touchless. Now that uh, high ground's gonna be gone, it won't be that big of a deal. And then we're just gonna showcase our boss takedown. Now you can see this. McLeod, he's going in with two charges. He's got a mutant and a tech charge. He was supposed to get a evade charge, an auto block charge, either on the penny that he killed or the domino. And he did not, he was not able to get a charge, the evade charge for either. So he does not have that true strike. He does have Proxima on the team. So, you know, he is going to take down. You know, he has triggered the auto block, so now he needs to get a knockdown. And, you know, we were talking about it, and he says, you know, the spacing on countering Modox heavy with Corvus's heavy is pretty sketchy. It seems like it's just a little bit inconsistent, and he didn't feel comfortable with um, doing that. So he's like, I'm just going to get the evade true strike charge on the special two knockdown. You can see he's taking quite a bit of block damage. Um, high ground is very high, five charges. So he cannot he cannot take much. He still has his 16 glaive charges, 15, 14. Boom, gets off the special two. Now it's on. He takes a block on that special one, doesn't fully evade it. And now he's at one, he's at one percent. One percent, 12 charges. Gets the draft back intercept. Special two doesn't quite kill him. He's at 1%. Glaive is saving his bacon and he finishes him off. Whew! Some close fights this war for me. Close fight there for McLeod. Um, but great job there, man. And as far as the battle group go, we didn't have the best outing. I got all, I, you know, I did my job, but we had four deaths. They had two. Um, but man, our BG3 stepped it up. They got the donut in BG3. BG1 did excellent as well with only two deaths. We won 11 to 6. So we clutched it out. We took care of business. Week 3 or week 4 of um, this, this season, 
We won all three wars, finished strong, and this is how the leaderboard ended looking. Platinum won number one. Uh, so for my war, seven fights, seven kills, no deaths. On the season, 69 fights, 69 kills, three deaths. And definitely I could have easily not died on two of the three. Um, and then one I just, I just messed up. Um, and it was a weird, quirky interaction with the Professor X. But um, yeah, so we, we finished the last three wars, finished six and five on the season. You know, there was the one canceled war in the season and it showed platinum one, number one on the leaderboard. And we were devastated. We we're like, oh no. So here's how the leaderboard looked after the war results and everything came in. Um, you know, we were plat one, number one, GT40, awesome job to them um, and then I believe it was Kenobi yeah Kenobi was second and we lost to them third war of the season and then XK9 took third and you can see the other masters and we were just we were just oh. there were ten there were ten alliances above us five of them needed to lose only four of them did obviously we beat one of them in excess and, and good job to those guys they did they did a, it was a solid war um, but yeah, we, we were just like, uh, we were looking at the leaderboard and the point difference, it was five attack bonus. If we would have gotten five more attack bonus, that would have made the difference and it was devastated. But we wake up in the morning and I'm going to share you with you the live act interaction of me recording what came up in the morning. All right, guys, so this is what up to this morning masters eight awesome so congrats to gt40 number one spot and, which is quite amazing because they got hosts in one of the wars earlier this season but uh yeah they got a lot of solid players in there congrats kenobi they got second we lost to them in our third war and then x came out with the brothers so Here's a, just a quick peek at the leaderboard. 40, Jedi Knights, XK9 Brothers. Top 10. We fought, we beat SAS and we lost to the Chinese and we lost to the Chosen One there. And we lost to PVT, to Legion. Rider. So yeah, let's uh, let's 
close these up. One more. I'll just throw it in. Tap. I'm not gonna mess around. Hey, there we go. No, nice. Those are loaded up for Thane. 
And if you look at this, here's my tier six. I got three, I'm almost to another one. Um, and my tier three alpha, I just need 2,150. So that's hopefully three weeks of AQ, but AQ is going to get interesting this week. Let's just say that. Hopefully, we can still play some top 45. Well, if we look at our crystals, I mean, I have. Tier 5 base, but look at that. So there's a full. Obviously, it's all random, but there's a full tier 5. There's 30% more selector nexus. 20, 10%, so that's another 2. 13, 5%. 56, 2%, so that's like another. I think it's about another 1. So I have like over 3. Tier 5 class catalyst spread out RNG class, you know, class based, not as class specific, but um, I got lots of tier 5 C. I need tier 5 B. Um, yeah, that was that was awesome. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I can't wait for the next season to start. We got some good things lined up for our bet for our. For our alliance, I think we're going to be another solid contender. Masters Wiki, super stoked about that. And, uh, yeah, can't wait. War, War is fun. I, I actually really, really enjoyed the bands this season. Now, I, I got to play Torch one time, and, and that was a lot of fun. But I do, I do think the bands give that extra element of just additional strategy and attack. And, you know, I got to use attackers that probably, you know, wouldn't have even been considered normally uh, for our attack. And it just mixes things up. It makes it interesting. Um, and yeah, it should, it should, I, I hope, I hope it's uh, good stuff for next season. Next season has that unstoppable armor tactic. We'll see how that works out. I might post a few war videos in the off season. We'll see. I usually usually don't. I'm not boosted. We kind of just kind of, it's a free for all. But maybe I'll post something. We'll see. But yeah, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Uh, real quick, I forgot. This is, um, this is my collage that I made for the season. All of the attackers that I used. All of the uh, defenders that I took out. And you can see Thing um, was my most uh, used attacker by far, 27 um, bites out of the 69. Um, and, you know, spread it around pretty good. Um, I fought a lot of ap Apocalypse, ap Apox, I fought a lot of Kitties, I fought um, a lot of Eye Hulks. Um, they just happened to be on the path. Not, not a difficult fight. A few Magnetos that are kind of stingy in some spots on path nine and whatnot ebony ma took out three of them all really pretty clean um even even the, the polka dot power one with with overseer that was that was uh fun exciting kind of yeah um but yeah so th this is this is what we went and and i, and I just want to say thanks to everybody in my alliance um officers that are in my BG that I work with, Dems 928, McLeod um, 33, um, and then just battle battle uh, group mates. I got Turtle, um, Jay Goody, Basque, Wearim, um, our new guy Allen, uh, PT. Am I forgetting somebody? Oh yeah, my beloved Sherry. Yeah, he, he cracks me up so much he's, and he's a great he's a great player and then just shout out to the officers our leaders um captain ed i am that i am uh and then just all the officers in bg1 bg3 who were man Peric. Peric actually had a perfect season which is awesome it's always good regardless of how many fights you do if you can always take care of your assignment that is that is the that is the main goal um, Pud, Dark Soul, 
Mr. Teddy Bear Man, uh, SWAT, Cat, Angry Bird. Man, those, you know, just one thing I would I would recommend if, if you can really give thanks and appreciation to your officers. Um, I, I know that probably some are better than others um, in whatever alliance you may be in, but man, doing some of the officer work, it is, it is a thankless task. It's a lot of work, a lot of time it goes into it to try to make things go smoothly in war, AQ, just running the alliance. Um, and I'm thankful for everybody that's in um, X5A that helps do, that does that. Um, yeah, so we, we were able to repeat Masters back-to-back -back season, season 30, season 31. I'm hoping that season 32 we can actually get like a full season. I would It would be nice if we didn't have to have bans um, as far as people cheating. And we just had a clean, clean leaderboard, clean wars. Um, but yeah, should be exciting. New new offensive uh, or defensive tactic, and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be ready to smash it. Masters definitely will be our goal for next season. Um, we're gonna see if we can't um, move up, play play cleaner, and get into the top ten. So appreciate you guys along for the ride. Hope you enjoyed. Um, this was an intense war to close out the season. I was joking with my with my battle groups, man. I just like crap my pants in that man thing and uh, Ebony Maw fight, but but made through it, um, didn't die. Um, yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun, and I'm hoping that very very soon. I'm only like 2,000 plus uh, tier three alpha shards away from getting my first rank four. That's gonna be exciting. And if you know who that is, you should know who that is if you watch my channel. But it's going to be exciting and it's going to be a lot of fun. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace.